Here's a really quick video on how to make dotted lines just like what you see right here. Um, it just takes basically a quick step and then you're there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select the line tool and then just make one. As you can see it's solid. So all you really have to do is go to the stroke window or panel and you get that through window uh, stroke if it's not open already. Um, set your weight to whatever you want it to be and then just hit this dash line button. And as you can see this is already set up for me but what's important here is the dash. Uh, typically it starts out at like a 1 or maybe even like a, let's just do a 10-10. You know it'll look something a bit more like this. As well as typically they don't have rounded corners because the caps are set to butt ends. Um, so this is what it will start to look like when you first select it. So what you're going to want to do is take the cap, which is right here in the stroke window, right in the middle, and hit round cap. And under corner you want round join. And then with the dash line, set your dash to zero, zero point, and there you have it. Um, the gap is basically the amount of space between each uh, individual dot. So you can set it really small, so they're basically, well in this case, they're overlapping each other like crazy. But let's just hit it like five. You know, they're much tighter that way. You can go all the way up to whatever you want it to be to kind of fit your look. And to make the dots bigger or smaller, just change the weight of the stroke itself. Um, super fast and easy, and it, it's a great way to make this happen. Um, another thing you can do is apply it to shapes. So let's say you want to make a star out of dotted lines. You know, you can just hit that. There you have it. Um, another thing to do, though, is that you can tell that these uh, these dots are kind of on a weird angle here. Uh, they're not lining up too well. Under the dash, like right where you check the dash line, if you go straight right, there's two options here, like preserves exact dash and gap lengths, or adjusts, uh, aligns dashes to corners and path ends. I always select that one. That way they always end up right where the points are on the end there. As you can tell the difference right here, you know, it goes from being kind of cluttered and messy because it's being uh, perfect from a distance point, but not from a visual point. So just select this one right here on the right. And if you ever want to just click we, uh, quickly change this, just hit I for eyedropper tool, and you can just select whichever line, you know, you want it to be, and it will apply that style effect to it. So there you have it, um, really fast and quite useful for a lot of different reasons. And if this video was helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.